Shy, after playing such an important role in the Blue Jays' bullpen last season, the Jays plan to stretch out Joe Biagini this year. Why? Earth, there are a couple reasons, but the main one is the Blue Jays are looking to try and create some depth behind their starting rotation. And the Blue Jays have a very strong five. They're not looking to replace anyone. But in the case of an injury, they don't have an obvious number six the way they did for much of last year with Drew Hutchison. So if they stretch Joe B. Genie out right now, they can get a sense of how he looks as a starter, whether or not that might be something that they would need to do. They can examine some of the depth behind them in their bullpen, see if they could replace him and the important innings that he provided, and perhaps set themselves up to have a number six in the event one is needed. Aaron Sanchez was not used to the work that he had last year. How much differently do the Blue Jays plan to use him this year? Well, the, the buildup is going to be very different for him this spring because he doesn't have to come to camp needing to prove anything to anybody. He's coming to camp as an integral part of this rotation and the Blue Jays are very much going to steadily build him up and try to not waste some of his bullets, for, as the baseball expression goes, during spring training. The Blue Jays want to let him gradually enter the season, be ready to go once April opens up and, and the regular season starts counting. So for that reason, we might see the Blue Jays build him up a bit more slowly, a bit more meticulously this spring because, again, he doesn't have to prove anything. He just has to be ready for opening day. From one young pitcher to another, can Marcus Stroman get back to the player he was a couple years ago? Well, he certainly seemed to turn the corner after that slump in the middle of the season. He was very steady and consistent after that. But that was a bit of a learning experience for Marcus Stroman. And he broke the 200-inning plateau for the first time in his career. That's obviously a very significant achievement. He led the Blue Jays in innings pitch last year, which tells you about the value that he was able to provide even with some challenges so if he can pull those lessons and find some of that steadiness that he had in the second half he made some changes to his delivery adjusted his release point a little bit if he can maintain that and push it into this season he should be able to deliver a better season for the Blue Jays. Thanks for the shy the first official on the field workout for Blue Jays pitchers and catchers is on Wednesday.